what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i have a get ready with me video for you i'm preparing myself to get ready to get out of the house i have a road trip today i'm so excited i'm going to see my mom yes can't wait to see her but anyway I just thought I'd come up here today and do a little first impression video and chit chat at the same time. So let's do this. Let's start this video. I already done clean my face and I have a um, serum on my skin. And um, I spray this pearlescent hydrated mist spray and I have this over on top the serum just to give my skin a little bit more hydration and i just recently picked this up and i really like so now let's prime my face i'm gonna use my sephora beauty amplifier primer and let's prime the face it's my first time using it let's open it up i like squeezy too I'm looking in the mirror there, and I'm looking in the mirror here in case you're what, what is she looking at? Anyway, I'm looking in the mirror over here now. Let's squeeze this on. It's thick. Oh, okay. Look up. It's still not coming out. What the? Do you guys see this? I am like squeezing with all my might to get this primer out, and it don't want to come out. Oh, wow look okay not gonna waste time on this one let me find another primer in my primer drawer okay i'll use this remel eight hour wear long finish primer i've been using this for a little while i have a lot of primers so i tend to rotate Rub it in my face, especially in my T zone, right here. My love is. So, what's up, guys? What you guys been up to? Leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing. You know, your girl makeup addict. I always like to make sure everybody's doing great. Life is too short. To not be doing great everyday people are experiencing different things and passing away and it, so just a whole bunch of stuff going on don't take life for granted don't take family for granted live every day like it's your last okay so I wait for that and now I'm gonna prime my eyes with my urban decay anti-asian shadow primer put a little dot put some on this side I like this primer a lot I like how it blends out on the end and I love this primer because it does not make my shadow crease so definitely when I finish with this little deluxe sample size here I'm going to purchase me the full size. The foundation that I'm going to be using today is this LA Girl HD foundation. And I recently hauled this. So this is going to be my first time actually opening it up. And my shade is in warm beige, just in case I didn't mention that. Let me get this wrapper off. This is what it looks like. Comes with a nice pump, which is good. I'm going to use it with my Angle Sigma F88 brush. I haven't used this brush in a while, so I figure I'll just use it. Let me shake this foundation up. All right, that should be enough. I'm going to pump some on my brush. Okay. It came out that's one pump let's try out one pump and see what to go on with this foundation it is very yellow okay if 
foundation blends right into my skin. Let me put some more. I like to bounce it in and then buff it in. So you guys know that. But it matches me. I guess once I blend it out, you'll see how much it matches me. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm over here jamming to some music, as always, when I'm applying my face. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how it's applying with the brush. I'm going to have to pull out a beauty blender and go over it. I don't like how it's looking. Let me try it with a blending Sponge from Alta. This is the Alta brand one. So I'm going to just wet it with this since I don't have no water up here with me. I'm going to just damp it a little bit and work it in. Whew. Hope I don't be too hydrated and greasy. I haven't read the claims too much on how this foundation is though. And I'm concentrating it here on my cheeks mostly because that's where I have my hyperpigmentation, especially over here. My face been, you know, broken out like straight up disrespecting, you know. It seems like it's blending out pretty nicely with the beauty blender. Let's fix this area up here. I don't want to be looking like I got a mask on. Yeah, let's blend that in the hairline and around here. I really like that pearlescence rose water. And I got it out of Marshalls. And it was very inexpensive too. You see why I like to use beauty blenders? Because this beauty blender, these sponges be making the application go on much better and much faster than a brush. This looks a little bit better, right? What you think? Don't mind my under eyes. I'm going to take care of that business. You already know. I'm going to take care of that business with that situation. The coverage is not full, it's a medium, but I guess you could build it up. But I don't want to build it up too much so that way you, it looks cakey or anything like that. So I grab everything else, but then grab my concealer. I like using this Sephora Bright Focus Future. Concealer. I like using this because it has an orange undertone, like a slight peaches, peachish orange tone. You see that? See that peachy orange tone? I like using that underneath my eye because it helps to cancel out my darkness. You see that I got going on underneath my eyes. But I like to mix it with another concealer, so let me see. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Just a little bit. A nice, decent dot just to blend her out. Now, I'm going to blend it out. See how it helps to cancel out that darkness underneath the eye? This foundation looks like it's very hydrating. Maybe it's my hydrating mist that I use. Okay, so I've done enough blending with that. I'm going to set it real quick before it starts creasing. So I'm going to use my Kat Von D loose setting powder. It's translucent. Put some in the top. 
guys. And this is what it looks like. Oh, okay. Let me put it on my face. I'm using this Sigma, not Sigma, um, Sephora foundation brush in 111. I like using this. As you can see, it gets right in there. So, we're going to leave that and let it bake for a little bit. And now I'm going to... I'm all over the place with this video as far as application. I'm not going in any particular order, so... Please excuse me if I'm not doing it the way how you guys like to have it done. Or, or probably used to seeing other people doing it, but... I tend to change up my routine and things like that. I'm using my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette today. And I'm using this shade right here, Foxy in the corner. And I'm just going to set my whole lid with it. I like using Foxy because Foxy is not that bright. It looks natural for a day look. Blend it out up here so that way I won't have to add any shadow in this area because I already applied this shade. And the brush that I use for this um, shade right here is the BH Cosmetics 129 brush. I'm going to use a different brush for my crease. I'm going to use this Morphe R37 brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade called Tease. So we're going to put that in the crease. I like using Tease in my crease. Especially when I'm using this particular palette. Hey, they play my jam. I hear it. Y'all probably can't hear it because I lower it down. It's a CD. A throwback CD from back in the days. I'm into that type of music because the music that they be doing now, I don't know. I can't vibe it all of them. I'm very old school. Okay, that's enough for tease in that crease. I could leave it like this, but I'm not. I'm going to put a lid color on there. I'm going to use this Royal Len Nichols brush. And I'm going to use YDK on my lid. Casing okay, over here. Okay, I don't bring it all the way over because I don't want it to overlap. So I just try to keep it like from this section and just spread it out. And I'm not going to put a lot on the lid because this is a daytime look. Now I'm going to go back in with my Morphe brush and blend it out again. I'm going to go back in with this first shade that I use right here, which is Foxy. Um, a little tap of that because something simple. All right, enough of this eye. I'm done with the eye look. And now I'm going to go in with this brush, dust off this setting powder. It just lightly now I have to set my face and I'm gonna use this to set my face it is the Urban Decay Naked Ultra Definition Powder mine's is in the shade medium dark all day all night 
Oh, mommy, I can't sing for Jack, but I'll be trying. I'll be trying to sing like I can sing. <laughs> I'm waiting for my son to get home. I'm going to go when I'm finished with this get ready with me video and check my tires because I'm driving to visit my mommy. So it's not a long drive or anything like that from where I'm at. It's just like three hours. But she's worth it. I'm going to visit my mama for the Easter holiday. Let me bring some down my neck. I like using this pot to set my face. Now we're gonna do some contouring. And I'm gonna use my Too Faced Coco Contour Palette today. I really like using it. My stuff be looking like I don't be using it, but I use my stuff. I just don't go in, you know, I go lightly on the top, so. I'm going to use this dark cocoa shade right here to contour with this brush. Let me start with up here. You see how it warmed it up? I love this shade to warm up over here so I don't look like I have on a mask. I'm going to blend it out. Don't worry. do some blush matter of fact I'm gonna go in with some more contour because my contour is not BAM today so I'm gonna use a little brush that comes with it I like using this little brush sometimes but not all the time I'm going to use this Stila palette here, and I'm going to use this shade right here, because it's springtime, and that's a pretty shade. Tap it out. Young man be calling me. Y'all remember this song? I know y'all remember this song back in the day. Y'all remember, I know y'all remember that song. That was all of our anthem song. Now let me stop. Sometimes I'll be too much. I need to try another brush to blend that out because this brush is so fluffy, it spread the blush all over the freaking place. So I'm gonna use the powder brush again and just go in circular motion and just tone it out a little. Okay, that looks a little better. Highlight. I'm gonna use. Let me see. I'm going to use my Anastasia. I'm trying to reach for it. Anastasia Glow Kit today. In Sun Dip, I'll use this crown brush. I'm going to use this one called Moonstone in the bottom. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out. Just trying to place it there where I want she at. Now I'm gonna tap it out to blend because it's still got products up there. So it's a nice brush, very soft.
Y'all see that glow? But we got a little issue in this area because it looks a little stark over here. So we're going to fix that. I love using big fluffy brushes because it's just so fast to use them. Okay. Now I am going to contour the nose a little bit. And I'm going to go back in with my Too Faced palette and this right here. And I'm going to use the medium cocoa to contour my nose. Because it's very subtle as far as the coloring for the contour. Probably can't even tell it's going up there. I probably just, for the sake of this video... I'll mix it then I'll mix it with the other dark shade but I can tell but I'll mix it with the other dark warmer shade blend it out tap in it and get some more and I don't dig in again like I said earlier into my powders I like to just Start slowly and then build it up. You know what I mean? I don't go ham and just go in there and then have to do a whole bunch of extras. Ain't nobody got time for that. You start small and you just build it up to however you want it to be. I never tried this brush to contour my nose, but I'm kind of digging it. I like it, using this brush. I think I'm going to start using this brush to contour my nose. It's so soft and I love it. Now I'm going to go back in with the Anastasia palette. And of course, y'all know I like to do my nose. The bridge in my nose. Just like that. Get that healthy glow going. Blend it out real good so it could look natural. Okay. Let me do my eyeliner. I'm going to use this Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. Let's do this. This eyeliner is very precise. You just put it where you need to put it and it just do what it do. Very precise. And I like the tip of it. It's very short. And since this is a day look, like I said, I'm not going to make it to, you know, much going on. I'm not going to make the line too bold. And when this liquid eyeliner dries, it dries some matte finish. I forgot to tell y'all that. Let me dip one more time into it. Take off the excess. Let me tell y'all, I tried to put on some fake lash before I filmed this video. And I still couldn't get it right. I got mad and I took that sucker off. And it's not like I don't be trying. I be trying. I don't be doing it right. And I just get frustrated and I just take that sucker off. And be basic. Now I'm going to apply this Voluminum Primer from L'Oreal. It's an eyelash primer. It looks like this. I like this eyelash primer prior to applying my mascara. It really helps to prolong my mascara.
Oops, sorry. I'm going to use this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is my first mascara from Urban Decay. I decided to try it because there's so much hype about it on the YT. So I decided to pick it up, try it. I'm not impressed with it, but I spent my coins on it, so I'm going to try to make it work. But I won't repurchase it. Right now, if you can see my eyelash, it looks very clumpy and got my eyelash looking short. It's, it doesn't give my eyelash any type of length and volume. I already got my lip balm on. What lip? Lippy I'm going to use today. Okay, I know which one I'm going to put on. I'm going to put on this CoverGirl one today. And it's in the shade Very Elderberry. Very Elderberry. And it's in the shade Q420. This is how much I used up. I really like this lipstick. I don't use this lipstick with a lip liner because I don't need a lip liner with this. This one is very nice. I like it a lot. And it's very moisturizing at that. So, And it lasts long on your lip. It's so smooth. I love it. But this foundation right here... I don't know. It's all right. I'll let you guys know at the end of the day. i leave a comment underneath and let you guys know what my final thoughts are on this foundation that I picked up recently. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, guys. I hope you guys like this little chit-chat get ready with me video. But I'm done. I don't think I need to do anything else. I need to go curl my ponytail now. It's looking cray cray. So I'm going to go curl my ponytail. Let it get a little bit of volume going on. A little bounce. And go and do what I need to I do. I just wanted to do something a little different with the chit chat with me video. So what you guys planning for the Easter holiday? If you are planning anything or doing anything don't forget the reason for the season it's not about the bunny okay so make sure you get your butt in church and get it fed okay we need to be fed the word so we can cope with things that's going on now and just cope in general and just focus on him you know what I mean Okay guys, check in time. I'm on the road. I just wanted to update you real quick and let you see how this foundation is. It's very dewy. My little guy is back there sleeping. Yeah, but it's very dewy. The coverage is decent. It's not anything that's spectacular. It's nice and decent. My blush and stuff is still on. But, of course, I'm shiny. I don't know if I'm going to be liking this foundation. I might pass it on. Ugh, it looks a hot mess. If I wasn't driving, I would have taken my fingers and show you guys how greasy it is. But, this is how greasy it is. Greasy! Ooh, look between my nose. You see that? All that grease but um yeah this is the um foundation mm, i don't know like i said i don't like it i don't i'm already greasy already as it is i'm an oily skin type and this is just two hours of wear so yeah i don't know let me know what you think as far as the foundation if you have it and you tried it already 
let me know this is my final review i'm not even gonna come back into that way you guys can see what a hot mess i look like by the end of this trip i mean you get what you pay for so it's a drugstore foundation i'm not saying all drugstore foundations is bad there are some good ones out there but this particular one right here i don't like it for the simple fact that it's not holding up pretty well maybe if i try it with a different type of primer or I should have used my mattifying setting spray maybe I'll do it that way I'm not gonna give up on it just yet I'm just gonna test it out again and see how I feel about it and if it performs the same way as it is now I mean it's not a bad greasy look as far as on camera but I'm looking in my mirror right here and I see it looks a hot mess in my opinion but uh, I'll test it out again once I get back cuz I didn't bring it with me I brought my makeup forever HD foundation I'm gonna get off this phone now cuz I'm driving thank you so much for tuning back in today if you enjoyed this video make sure you let me know and also if this is your first time on my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and welcome to my channel in advance and also you can follow me on my social media snapchat twitter and instagram i'll leave my information down below in the description i hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and a fabulous weekend like i said make sure you go through those doors go to church you hear me give god thanks Give him the honor and glory because he is all we have in this world. Anyway, bye. I love you and I'll talk to you in my next video.